All right, so this is the final part of the quick change tool post build. I have to make a new T-nut. Notice it's got a keyway. All right, internal assembly, new clamping stud to suit the new T-nut. So I went away from the original style of having a plate that pulled up underneath the T-nut. I just found it didn't give enough clamping force. Now what I've got is a system where I tighten the handle and pull the T-nut up. This clamps the T-nut into the T-slot and pulls the body down onto the top side. I found it gave better clamping force so... I've also reduced the height of the dovetail here. That lets me go full depth with the tool without having to step over and make multiple cuts with the final pass. I've riveted the handle. I'll probably end up welding this. You saw me get some flex in this in the last video. I was only getting 0.1 of a millimetre, which I just found it didn't really clamp onto the tool holder that well. So what I've done, just plunged an end mill through just to reduce the wall, plunged an end mill through these outer pieces, thinned the bore out a bit or widened the bore. I milled out these keyways. If you look back into the very first video I showed a quick animation of it, you would have noticed there were a couple of holes in the top of the body. My intention was to drop a dowel pin in so I could lock the tool holder in various orientations. Lining up the keyway, I've just been jamming a high speed steel tool in place and that does the job. I might put a few more in. I don't really need to use those that much, I've used them on occasion now. You can definitely hear that it's got some spring in this. There might be a bit of concern long term through this joint. This is only mild steel, so this might start to just yield over time. So another benefit to what I've done to the T-nut, having it threaded, both handles lock in the same direction. So I've been madly making tool holders. So I've got a special toy to make this a little bit faster. So that will be the next video, you'll see that. It's perhaps still a bit tight. I'm sort of going through and filing these to try and make them a bit nicer, but there still isn't a lot of adjustability. So I don't want to go too crazy. This one, I decided to give myself a positive rake or negative rake. Let's put it together. I tried filing the top slide I found I was rounding it, so something I did, I actually blued the bottom with Sharpie of this tool post and rubbed it on there and then crudely scraped this a little bit flatter using a carbide tool. Probably what I should have done was just milled the top flat and it actually made quite a difference. Ten thou. Twenty thou. Thirty thou. Forty thou. Fifty thou. I'm not going to push it any harder than that. This is another 60, different angle. So I was going to do it again, I'd change things, otherwise I wouldn't have learnt anything. Probably doesn't allow a lot of repeatability. Clamping it down, it actually creates a bit of friction between these dovetails, so even if I release the tool holder, that time proved me a liar, 
It's still a little bit tight, doesn't fully spring back. I really need a locking nut here as well. If I were to do it again, I'd probably go... I originally didn't want to go with one of the piston wedge styles. I just, in my head, that didn't seem to develop a lot of force. I kind of wanted something like that Allura style where the wedge is pushed out. Okay, so clamping the tool holder. Yeah, it spreads by quite a bit now. All up though, pretty happy. I can change tools quickly and easily. It works. It's probably reasonably simple to make. Anyway.